This episode of Nerd is the New Sexy Entertainment Podcast is brought to you by Magic Mind. What's up, all you sexy nerds? Ricky McBee here, and you are listening to and watching Nerd is the New Sexy Entertainment, the podcast. This is episode number 173. And today I am joined by the man, the myth, the legend, the one in the camo hat and the blue earphones, Mr. Wildfire One. With a hat that says stay nerdy. And we are also joined by the lovely fandom maniacs, the newest member of the crew. Hello? There you there are. There we go. <laughs> I was like, I saw her mouth move, but I didn't see not- hear nothing else. Speak into your b- b- nightlight slash microphone. Don't put it in your mouth. It's not that kind of podcast. <laughs> We're not going for that kind of content. <laughs> The couch is in the living room. <laughs> <laughs> so our, our podcast topic today, um, we're talking about Pal World. Just kidding. We're talking about Pal World. For those of you, again. Well, yeah, it's, it's Pal World again. Now, for those of you who saw last week's podcast, it was Pal, Pal World. This week's podcast is going to be Lethal Company. And it's kind of been a long time coming. Uh, we got really addicted into it until we kind of stopped playing a little. Well, you know. we stopped playing it because we started playing other games again. Um, you know, you and I got back in that Diablo 4. We finally beat that. Um, Pal World came out. Oh, Pal World, and then we, we had uh, that. content warning. All the updates for, like, uh, Demonologist that yep. we've been playing. Which, just before this, this episode, we played a few rounds of Demonologist. That was fun. Uh I didn't have fun. What do you mean you didn't have fun? You didn't die. Yeah. <laughs> did she? Did you want to die? Did you? Did you... No, I didn't. You know, like, I, no. I, I, it kept whispering was... to me like Billy Zane, and I didn't like it. Oh. I just thought that it was funny. So yesterday we played with Jake, and after we stopped playing, we we played for a couple hours, and the only thing she put in Discord was "Thanks for not letting me die." Yep. Yep. Because it's because it's usually me that's dying, and if I'm not playing, then she's the one that's dying. <laughs> the luck. We just gotta watch. We gotta watch out for them kid ghosts. I mean, I, I, as soon as I started talking inappropriately to the ghost this last game, we heard a baby cry and I started getting flashbacks. I was like, "Oh God!" Oh, it's the kid ghost. We're talking about Lethal Company. Uh, uh, Grizzly, tell us your first. Like, your first thoughts in the game. So, my, my first thought of the game, uh, when you the first mission, is I, I'd watched a little bit of uh, gameplay of it from um, different content creators, and uh, I thought it looked fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, as soon as I saw it, I knew that as soon as humanly possible, you would be getting me to play this game just because of the jump scares. Yeah. So, so I was prepared for this game, unlike other games that I, I don't get a chance to be prepared for. Like Demonologist. Demonologist, Devour, yeah. um, Even fast. Fear, fear Therapy. I, I kind of knew what I was getting into with Faz. Mm-hmm. Um, the other one's not so much. Yeah, the other, well, Fear Therapy and, like... Doki Doki Literature Club? Well, you know, we, we brought you into that without yeah. any, any, just, haha, <laughs> guess what? This is a, a dating sim, Grizz, good luck. It's a dating anime sim, huh? Yeah, huh? And he's like, oh, I want the big, the big titty blue-haired chick. Little did he know! <laughs> Little did he know! <laughs> what were your first, like, impressions playing the game? The, the graphics were amazing. They worked out great. Mm-hmm. Um... The controls were amazing. Uh, never had any issues with the controls or the graphics. Uh, never yeah, had... there's never been like there's never really been like glitches unless you implement uh, mods yeah, that I can remember. Never found any uh, any bugs, any visual glitches. Um, 
I love the fact that you could just open the door a mile off the ground before you land and just jump out. It's hilarious. There's yeah. tons of stuff that you can do in, in that game I mean, to make content. I mean, there, there's the lore alone, too. There's little little <laughs> places around that you can find notes and, and learn about. Uh, I forget what the you know, the character's name that Tilt puts the notes in. But like, yeah. learn about all that, and, and you can type it all in the computer, and it's pretty cool. So, fa Fandom, what what about you? I know you you got to enjoy yourself a bit with uh, with the game. I started watch. I was I saw it when content creators were making videos, and that's how I saw the the modded version, the mod the mods and stuff. And so started playing with mods, which there's some really good quality of life mods out there. Yeah, on top uh, of on top of some of the spooky mods too. Yeah, like. yeah. Uh, I really do like uh how simple it is it, that it's that it's so simple you just run in you have to find shit and then get out without dying hopefully you make quota hopefully you make quota oh, yeah or the yeah. tentacle monster gets mad at you uh who doesn't want to die from the tentacle monster me i don't want to die from the tentacle monster wild <laughs> i've seen too much hentai to not want to die from the tentacle monster i think the scare i think i just thought it was i just was like oh i want to try this game and i knew you'd want to play it and that's kind of where it went from there i'm trying to remember if it was if it was um uh, freaking ghostly killer that that introduced me to the game or jmac i i can't remember it's, it feels I like think it was ghostly killer i think so too because he's ghostly killer's always like coming to me with all these like off the wall games going we should play this we should play this and there's like a 50-50 chance by the time I buy the game, he's never playing it again. Yep. <laughs> so. Yep. I think I only got to play, um, I only got to play Lethal Company with him maybe like three three or four times. I played with him, uh, his brother and his brother's wife a bit, so. It was modded and it was fun. The mods are fun. I got to play the mods with you a little bit. I, I'm not a yeah. fan of how it breaks the game. Um, yeah, sometimes. it really depends. Uh, I gotta just make a mod pack that has like the the stamina increase, the s specific slots for flashlight, and another slot that you can put your the key or whatever in. Oh, walkie, walkie. Mm -hmm. And then maybe some extra items in a mod. I like the Skinwalker mod where it like. Where you're walking around. Yeah. Only problem I, I didn't. One thing I didn't like about it is it was overused. Like, it felt like every two seconds we were getting things that we said. You know, I'd hear yeah. hee hee, yeah. and it'd be, it'd be, uh, it'd be fucking Phantom's voice, but like up pitched or down pitched, and but it, it was like too much. It got to the point where I was desensitized from it. I was like, ah. Eh. And if if you were right next to me, I'm like, is that really you? Are you talking, or was that like the game? It's usually, like, what you what you say? What I say, <laughs> and of course we had to get that mod because a certain someone had to hear the yippies every five seconds. It makes me happy, okay. Oh, the loot bugs with the yippie make me happy. The yippie bugs. The fact that they put their little tentacles or their little feelers in the air, as they say. Yippee. Yeah. Do it again. Oh, like, like, look on my phone. Oh, it's the yippie bugs. Well, we'll just have to take your word for it. There you go. There you go. Yippee! Yippee! And so, what? Okay, what? what speaking of the the enemies and the bad guys, what's your guys' favorite bad guy? What's your favorite? What's your favorite monster that comes at you? I don't think I really have a favorite. I mean, they're all creepy except for the bugs, the loot bugs. I mean, I I don't, I don't like the things that fall on your face. Uh, the the. The Those... freaking centipede-looking motherfuckers. Oh, the, uh... Face hug, yeah. yeah, the... I, the I just call them... I call them face fuckers. I wouldn't really say favorite, but, uh... A good mention is the, uh... The mannequin. The test oh. Dummy. Okay, the... Spring head? Yeah. Oh, yeah, the coil head? Yeah, the, the, the thing that, like, basically follows you when you're not looking at it. Yeah, yeah. it's basically a weeping angel from Doctor Who. The uh, now nah, what what gets me is the the bracken, 
Yeah. The Brackens usually it's and then there's and it, I know that they updated it and there's even more monsters in it now. There's like uh, Yeah, there's the the butler. Yeah, uh, the butler, the, there's the some butler. robots. Yo, when you kill the butler, uh bees pop out of it. And but you get a you can get a knife, which stabby stab is fun. And then the robots uh will scream robotics, robotics, robotics at you. And they cry like babies too. Which is fun. It was a show I haven't played it in that long in a while. I haven't played it when they updated with the giant robots and the new planets and all that. There's yeah, that there's and there's a bunch of different monsters. Like a, a good example is the stupid uh, the arachnids. Oh yeah, the spiders. Yeah, the spiders. spiders. Yeah, that's a nope. That's a nope. Takes forever to kill those things with a damn shovel. Yep. Ting 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 like thirty hits. Oh yeah, that's the nutcrackers. Mm -hmm. the nutcrackers. Yeah. You, you get, get a shotgun, shotgun. yeah. You get a shotgun. one of those fuckers, and then you're you're good to go. Well, it doesn't only have like two shots or something like that. Uh, I think you can buy shotgun shells in the store, or the, that's a mod. I can't remember. See, so you've played with the mod so much, you don't know what the base game is like. <laughs> like with Minecraft. Uh, so Grizz, you got any good stories of us playing? It was you. And I want to say J Man. And there was somebody else because there was a whole team of four. It might have been J Jade, yeah. Yeah. Um, but I know uh, me and Jade went to the front. You and J Man went up the, uh, the emergency stairs, went in the back way. And me and Jade go straight through the, the front door and all we hear is oh shit oh fuck oh and then nothing <laughs> we're like what the hell is going on and the first door we go through there's your body just laying on the ground and j-mac is nowhere to be seen sounds about right well then we go, go to find out j-mac ended up falling down the freaking hole he like jumped over the railing trying to get away from the bracken that as soon as you guys walk through the door it just ripped your head off. Sounds just bad. nagged you like a little snack. There's a reason I hate the bracken. Because the motherfucker always comes after me. Wants to shank your ass. Always comes after me. But it was funny because all we hear is you freaking the fuck out and nothing. Well, I was, well, because I died. <laughs> well, like, we didn't even hear J-Mac because he, as soon as you got attacked, he just jumped over the rail. He went his own way. What about you, Phantom? What's your favorite story from... Um, I was playing with Das Moose's wife and one of her friends, Das Moose's ghostly killer's brother, and they, I think, both died at that point, and we were playing with mods, and so the Bracken and looked like Freddy Fazbear. And... <laughs> I was the only one left, and I could not get out. And so I was like, you know what? Nope, I'm not. I'm not doing this. I'm dying on my own terms. And I, right when he was coming after me, I jumped off the edge and died. I was like, nope. <laughs> so you essentially did ahead. what J Mac did, just on, per I did on, on purpose. purpose though. He probably did it on accident. I was like, nope. Fuck you. I'm going out on my own terms. Bye. <laughs> and just yeeted myself. I think I did that twice. I actually did that with a spider too. One of the one, point, which... one of the funnest games I had. Was this, um, and I think you were you were there for this, and it was when I when we we're we we're taught me and J Mac were taunting the worms. Oh yeah, yeah. And and one of the last things Jay I were... say is, "Do you like my penis?" <laughs> yep. <laughs> it fucking eats me. I think it ate both of you. It did. It you it, it did. We were both dead. Me me and Jade were just on the ship going, "Yep, that's about right," and then we left. The game, like, the game can go from 0 to 60 in, like, a second. And sometimes you don't get any monsters, like, it really yeah. depends. Oh, there, there was, there's been plenty of games where Wild and I have killed ourselves without seeing a single monster. Uh, it was me, Wild, and Game Act playing, and we had gone so far into this map that our batteries on our flashlights had completely died. All of our, all of them, and we were all completely full of good loot, hugging the walls. 
And I remember J Mac being in front, me being right behind him, Wild being behind me, and we're just inching our way trying to find open doors. And the next thing I know, J Mac turns around, faces me, and says, No, you go first, I'm not going first. I take a step to the right and fall to my death because there was no rail. You fucked around and found out. And before I can even hit the ground, I hear Wild go, Fuck, found where where Grizzly (laughs) went. (laughs) (laughs) And then landed right next to me. Yeah, that shit sucked. Those pitfalls, okay, they'll come out out of nowhere, especially if you don't have any light. Another yeah. uh, thing I just remembered, it was me and Ghostly Killer, and Dosmos and his wife, his wife, and we were, I think it was someone else too. We were playing and we our my flashlight died, and so and so did his, and we had loot and we're running around in the dark and we just hear <laughs> in the darkness and just the fluttering of the loot bug's wings. <laughs> That is terrifying. You just hear the yippee and then it coming at you. And those things get mad. They get scary, man. They're cute as fuck when they come up on you. Oh, they're cute as fuck. And whoever made that mod gets gets a golf clap because that it just I can't think of a loot bug without that voice anymore. I'd like to meet who did that voice. See, and it's great that you're so focused on that yippee. Other things make you quite focused. Fully focused. What is what is a good, satisfying drink that, that'll make us focused? Magic Mind. Let's start off with a story. Let's start off with a story, and I think fandom has a good story for us. Yeah, I uh, was able to find Magic Mind at my local store, and I tried it, because I was like, okay, we're doing this, I want to try it. And it actually helped. I felt a difference right away. Yeah, I went to work that day. Uh, I work as a dog groomer, so kind of need to be able to focus and stuff. And I felt so much more energized. My anxiety was down with my current medication. The next day, didn't have one. Felt like shit. And then so I got another one, and I felt great again. And so this last week, I ran out of anxiety my anxiety medication and but i had the magic mind and the ashwagandha and it actually helped me until we could get it sorted out with the insurance ashwagandha yeah the ashwagandha is actually very helpful i think grizz yeah. had mentioned in the past what the ashwagandha yes. uh, actually ashwagandha does is good it, it helps with your anxiety lowers your stress level magic mind is basically it's it's a it's a, an amazing set of ingredients and oh boy does it make you productive like yes it definitely laser focuses your mind on what you're doing. It's easier. It's easier to articulate words. It's e- I never really had a drink that did that until I started drinking Magic Mind. So just so you guys know, this is sugar free, gluten free, vegan, and paleo friendly. So for those I'm- of you who are diabetic like myself, you don't have to worry about the. Sh- there's no sugar. Five cents of every bottle sold of Magic Mind goes to helping the local homeless within the United States. Which is very cool, actually. The fact and that they... that's five cents for every bottle sold. With that being said, you have a limited time offer that you can use right now to get up to 48% off your first subscription or 20% off a one-time purchase at magicmind.com slash nerdis. N E R D I S. When you use the code Nerd is twenty, all caps. N E R D I S two zero. When you use that code at checkout, that's MagicMind.com slash Nerd is. It's not only helping us out because we're getting to help them, but it's also helping the homeless. Like I said, every five cents, five cents of every bottle sold. Well, it's not just helping home. the homeless or us or anyone else. You're helping yourself. Yes. Because the product works. Like if you want to be laser focused on what you're doing, if you want the day to go by faster, if you want to be able to focus and continue doing what you're doing without uh, the procrastination, 
the Magic Mind is the way to go, man. It's definitely a product that works. We wouldn't be we wouldn't be endorsing something like this if we didn't feel it worked. Yep. So uh, let's get back to the spooky scary that is Lethal Company. When you guys first played Lethal Company, did you uh, did you guys think it was going to be a scary game? Yeah. Yeah. I, it starts off so cute and and adorable. If you ask me, like you start, you start off in this ship, and this stupid music plays, and then you get this weird fucking voice. Welcome to the company. What do 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 do? Rub your nipples. Do 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 do. You gotta do this shit for us, and if you don't, and then we it will... like repeats this line. Like, yeah, and it it, it does that song, and so it ends up turning into a little bop. Uh, I forget what it says, like something. The company, the company, the company. I, I at first I didn't think it was gonna be a horror game because it wasn't because the type of horror games that we play when we're playing together are all like ghost games or like or they have a certain theme to them. Yeah. Where I don't wanna where I just stick by wild the whole time when I first start playing it. Or uh, really or like, ghostly killer depending on who you're playing with. Hey, you have to stick by ghostly killer or else he's gonna fuck with you. <laughs> ghostly killer fucks with you even if you stick with him. Like no balls. Yeah. That's all I gotta say. If you're playing a game with him, you're gonna die. If you're if you're hiding in a in a closet with him in like phasmophobia, he'll scream no balls and get you killed, or himself. Either way, yeah. it's hilarious. Just for shit You've done that too, so. Yeah. Only to the people who had it coming. Uh huh. What's that supposed to mean? I said what I said, bitch. You know what we must do now, Panda. <laughs> <laughs> uh play demonologist again and leave him to die yeah sounds good <laughs> your luck the ghost will come after you probably i mean it yeah unless it's a kid ghost it'll oh. come after you Fucking daddy, daddy. no <laughs> back back bitch i may be ordained but i'm not a priest okay? there's a reason i got a, a i got <laughs> ghostbuster equipment back there no nah, i'm gonna catch that little fucker and Abort! Abort! You're putting them in your dungeon, you're putting them in, in boxes. <laughs> I'm glad you got a car and not a van. Ch Me too! <laughs> what would you guys rate? Okay, let's rate, let's rate Lethal Company. Solid 7. Solid 7? 7. 7. You know, 5 at the moment. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna go one above you guys. I'll go 8. Um, 8 wow, is... it has to be different. Well, I... It's not a bad game. It's fun, and it it is. I never said it wasn't yeah. a bad game. I just wish that there was like a story to it. But you know me, I like. There is a story to it. You just gotta want to look for it. That's the thing. But there's no like blunt story. I, and I agree with you. I have the same problem with like phasmophobia and demonologist. I would love there to be some story behind the hunting in that game. In those games. So I get what you're saying, but yeah, and a solid eight. I think it could be better. Uh. It could definitely be worse. It could be, you know, it could be a, a devour. Ah, no. Which two of the three I, people in this podcast will refuse to play devour. I don't do certain things when they get to certain ways. You enjoyed the spider lady with me. I did not. I just played that because for I don't know why I played that. I don't know why you played it either. I think you took off the, arach the was... arachnid stuff, though, where they were just big blobs. Yeah, I did. I That's did. fucking hilarious. And Grizzly just doesn't like that game in general. He played the first... Yeah. So we got 7, 7.5, and an 8. Um, for those of you who are watching this podcast and haven't played it, we would definitely say go check it out. But let's be honest, you're all a nerds just like we are. You've probably played it by now. And you've probably, and if not, you know, we're judging you. This <laughs> and then the pug pops up on the little. Did you put the, did you put the picture on there? Yeah, I put the pug. That's cute. <laughs> so is there anything else we can say about Lethal Company before we end the podcast? It's a good game. Let's go play it. It's fun. Yeah, I want to play it again. I need to make a good mod pack for us to try. Yeah, that, and we should probably do some more streaming on it. It was very fun. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just as a reminder, guys, go check out Magic Mind. The link and our code is below. In the description. In the description. Grizz, uh, do you want to say that 
beautiful that beautiful link again? That link is magicmind.com slash nerd is N E R D I S. And the code is nerd is twenty. N E R D I S two zero all caps. And up to forty eight percent off your first subscription or twenty percent off your first purchase. There you go. So go check that out, guys. And as we're winding down the podcast, there is a number you can call if you want to tell us what you want, what you'd like us to review, talk about during podcasts, play video game, do gameplays on. Uh, tell us you hate us. Tell us you love us. Tell us uh, you want to see Grizzly's nipples. He'll do it. Don't, 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 ju- don't, don't test him. He'll do it. Trust me, I found out. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh, God! Grizzly. <laughs> so what's that no number? Nipples were harmed during the filming of this podcast. <laughs> so Grizzly, what is that number if you want to get a hold of us? That number is 559-997-6803. Again, that number is 559-997-6803. I just met you. And this is crazy. We I are give you my number. So, so call me, baby. <laughs> We're all on the same light. We well, oh that is a, that, that is why you guys are on my crew. We all have the same. We all we share, share the one brain cell. The brain cell. It yes. So check it out, guys. Check out the game. Check out uh, check out the links below and all that fun stuff. We'll see you next time. Till then, we want you to stay dirty. Stay sexy. Oh.